hello hi welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see mash color if you are not yet subscribed do subscribe we go into this video I'm just going to create a cube okay so moreover I go for a cube it's because it looks beautiful okay so after I make a, a bevel it looks really good to use for any type of mesh okay so I just use this uh, uh, bevel cube I'm just going to use uh, this for color also so selected this one I'm just going to go for mesh here create mesh network so it creates this going for attribute here go to mesh attribute center distribution okay then go to distribution type open this one I'm just going to make it as a grid after that so I'm just going to make the grid a little bit uh, higher of numbers okay and also go for way x axis more and I can just go fully also so that will give me better uh, solution yes this gives me something like this okay so that uh, this uh, I can use uh, for my uh, colors okay so after creating this mesh it gives you kind of a plain look this gives me a uh, kind of a box rectangle okay flat surface so selecting that one I go into the mesh here and here you find add node and this the third one is something called color as it says it's a color so if I add node you see that it gets flat white it's because the color is something white where I can just go at and go for blue here so it creates blue if I want different colors for this what I have to do just click on this checker box go into textures okay you can just take any texture you want okay so go according to your need so here I'm just going to go for cut okay so which gives me something like this uneven color random colors will be added so uh, I go with some blue here okay so which gives me some uh, pleasant look so I go with this blue and also for this I'm just going to go for um, yes this color will be uh, better okay going back to the output here here you see color set name is color set remember this okay because we are going to use those in later stages and here you have something called random hue if I just go for random hue you see this will give you a random hue so if I just go more it will give you a random color okay so let me reduce it so this is what I need so you can go with saturation also so it gives you more of saturation in one side and more of uh, less saturation in one side okay so random saturation can be given and also you can just use random values this will give me something like this random values in brightness okay so that will be useful for you and if you find that this is uh, something kind of uh, uh, same color where I can just go here I can increase uh, uh, the random seeds okay so which will affect the color of it so if I just go here random okay so I can just go randomly here okay random seed can be applied so that seed can be changed if I uh, here I'm just using the same color so it goes something like this okay and uh, you see like uh, if you want something background color uh, you can just enable the background color I can just uh, use the background color for this so this can also be used where I can just go here change the color so that will also change the change the uh, background color I don't want here after doing that what I do I'm just going to go for my output before going to output here I have to use light sky dome light okay I create it make sure that we have color here right uh, before going to render I'm going to apply um, in mesh okay so I'm going to apply signal okay 
so for this I am going to go for a fractional Brownian motion so if I just use Brownian motion it gives me kind of a wave structure okay I am just taking off the grid so that this will not disturb me so if I play this this is good right so I can go lesser and y axis height to be reduced where I go with local so go play this one so it will be like this okay this is what I need also okay so after creating this one okay so here I have light I'm going to go for add all render okay so you see that you have a shock to you the thing is you don't find these colors in your render it's because it was designed like that okay so what you have to do is right click and go for assign new material just go into this go into Arnold find something called a surface shader okay then come up here you just go into the base color if you apply any color then you can see those in the render but here what I need is I want some random color to get applied which I applied uh, before here is a trick uh, three things you have to do for bring out the color which I created randomly okay so note this out select this one go into a repo mesh shape come down here so go into Arnold come down here and you find something called export okay so go into export vertex color first step is to go into repo find something called Arnold come down here export click on the export vertex color the second step is to go to mesh repo okay just uh, come down here go into output attribute make sure that color vertex is selected okay so color vertex is selected then the third one select this one okay and go to your material which you applied go to color click on this checker box okay and go here type data okay you will not get anything don't worry about it just click on this utility you will find something called user data color AI user data color click on it it will take you to AI user data color you see some color has been applied that is ash color the default color don't worry you will get it in the render what you have to do is go here you type here color set have you seen this color set anywhere yes the name of the color okay which I show you before now let's see go for render yes you got your result right so that is how you bring out your color I can just go now and I can just go explore and more in color where I can just go here go to the color okay and I can play with the hue so you see that you, it can work live right so where I go with the distribute I'm just going to increase the distribute to 50 here I'm just going to increase the distribute to 50 here and I'm just going to increase this to 30 and this also to be 30 which gives me something like this so uh, you can go explore more for your output okay so this is what you get so the random colors can be used okay so you can you use random colors which will give you a bright different colors and you can just go for the saturation saturation which uh, which will give you more of uh, brightness and more of saturation for your mesh okay and the values can be added okay so which gives you a brighter output here so those things can be done it's very easy and also very simple to work on and here I'm going to go to signal okay so I want the signal and I want uh, this to get uh, animated more of uh, uh, NY axis so that will give me better look yes here this gives me a better look for my output
okay so this is how you do okay this is how you bring your output okay so you bring your uh, color in the output okay AI standard surface okay so where you can just go play with your uh, a standard surface just come down here you can just create metallic so which will give you a metallic look you see okay so every color gets the metallic look so it's easy to create it's easy okay so it's easy to create a metallic look for this if I don't want the metallic so I just reduce this and I can go with roughness which will give you a flat and rough undiffused material okay so you can just uh, use those also so it's simple to work okay where you can just have this peculiar color and where you can just use the trans transmission if you want those things to be transparent you can just go for the transparent also but uh, it will not show you the color don't go for it if you want you can just try it okay that is uh, more useful okay so you can just uh, go for any parameter in uh, standard a surface can be applied for those uh, materials okay so uh, let me pass for a while and uh, come back this is what the output is okay i hope you like this video if you like this video do subscribe share it with your friends give thumbs up whatever the comment you have put it in the comment box you are welcome to uh, use the comment box thanks for watching thank you